In this video, we're diving into the world of HTML forms and how to style them with CSS. So what is a form tag? The form tag is a container for different types of input elements, such as text fields, checkboxes, drop-down list, and submit buttons. It's essentially a way to collect user inputs and send that data to a server for processing. Before we dive deeper, it's important to note that while the form tag collects the data, you need code on the server to receive and process it. This video focuses on the form tag, so we won't cover the code on the server side. Two important attributes for the form tag are action and method. The action attribute tells the browser where to send the form data upon submission. The method attribute specifies how to send the data, with get or post being the most common values. Inside a form, you can have various controls. The input element is a versatile form control. It can be used for single line text, passwords, checkboxes, and more. The type attribute is used to select the type of control that it will be. For longer multi-line text inputs, text area can be used. The select element can be used for drop-down lists. And the button element can be used for things like submitting the form. There are other elements that can be used in forms as well. Label tags are used to add labels to controls. Set the for attribute to the same value as the ID attribute in the control to link them together. When they're linked, clicking the label brings the control into focus just as if the control itself were clicked. Now let's look at an example of how CSS styling can be used with forms. I'll start by deleting all of the CSS to show what the form looks like without any styling. Now I'll add some styling for the form tag. This sets the font family, the width, the margin, the background color, and the padding. Next, I'll add some styling for various controls inside the form. These are the control elements that will receive these styles. This checkbox is centered, and so to move it to the left side, I'm going to use this style. Notice that I can select this specific input element by specifying the type. I could, of course, also reference it by its ID value. Lastly, I'll add a style for the button to change its position and color. And that's how you create a form and style it with CSS. When creating forms, make sure to test them thoroughly and ensure your server-side code is secure. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and leave a comment.